All right, guys, we're ready to code some words today. So let's look at our first word. What do you notice about it? That's right, it's got something that we talked about today. We talked about that trigraph. Remember, a trigraph is three letters that make one sound. We've talked a lot about digraphs, but a trigraph is three letters that make one sound, okay? So the I, the I sound, that I-G-H, I'm going to underline it because I know that's gonna all go together to make one sound. And remember, this trigraph is really tricky because when we say it, it just says I. You can't hear that G or the H, so I have to cross them both out, okay? So, and since it says I, it says a long sound, so I have to put that macron on top, okay? So then when I sound it out, I know B and R can blend together and say burr. So I have burr -ite. bright, very good. So I have bright, and then let's look at our next word. What do you notice? Well, first, if I look at the end, it's got that S. So I'm gonna go ahead and box that off and make sure that it's a suffix that makes sense by itself, okay? Because remember, this root word needs to make sense, but we've gotta sound it out first. Then what do you see? That's right, I've got digraph, S-H. So I'm gonna underline it because it goes together and says, shh. Then what else do I have? Digraph, E-E, -E, so I'm gonna underline it. And since I have to say if it's long or short, so it says, E, so I'm gonna put that macron on top, but when I read it, does it say E-E? -E? No, it's a digraph, it says one sound, so I'm gonna cross off the other one, so sh eats. Sheets, very good, so bright sheets. Good job. All right, let's look at our next word. What do you notice about that word? I don't have any endings, I don't have an S, I don't have suffixes like S, I, N, G, E, D, I don't have a Y. So where are my vowels? I've got a vowel right here, and I've got a vowel right here, that's right. But look, it's a U and an E, and it's got that consonant between it. So this is gonna be a U consonant E word. And I know when we have a U consonant E word, that U is gonna be long, and that sneaky E is gonna be silent, so I have to mark it off, okay? So, so far I have cur -ude. Crude, very good, so crude. And then what do you notice here? Hmm, it's a pretty long word, isn't it? Well, first we have to figure out where my syllables are at, because I have multiple, I have multiple vowels on here, okay? So my first vowel is a E, and my second vowel is an E, and I've got a consonant and a consonant between it. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, so I'm gonna break it off in between, okay? So then my vowel is in front of a consonant, so I know it's gonna be short, okay? So, and I've got that SH, which I know is a digraph, so I'm gonna underline it so it goes together. So I have sh, L, shell. So my first syllable says shell. Then let's look at my next syllable. My vowel is the E, but look, it's got combination ER in there, it's got ER. So remember, I'm gonna hook it together underneath, and then I have t, er, ter, so shell, ter, shelter. So, so far I've got crude, shelter. Let's read all of them together. Bright, sheets, crude, shelter. All right guys, awesome job doing your coding today.